Welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. Today we're going to be kind of reviewing some gameplay from last week's NA Open. My team, Tribe Game, you guys probably didn't know this because you just follow me on Twitter, but we managed to qualify for the regional round, so we uh, we had a pretty good run. We managed to take out Space Station, Omen Elite. Uh, those are two most notable names, but there are also pretty, some other pretty good teams that we beat. And uh, yeah, I figured you should check it out in today's video. Unfortunately, our matches versus Space Station, the gameplay got lost, like no one recorded it after, and since this tournament, we faced them so early on in the tournament, it wasn't streamed, and it wasn't in my battle log after I finished the tournament. So that really sucked, and then I asked like Bobby and OG if they still had the videos on their battle logs, and they said they, was, they were already practicing, so they didn't have it either, so... Unfortunately, we didn't lose the gameplay, however, I figured I would show you some and just talk about some gameplay from the later rounds versus Omen Elite. They're probably the second best team that we beat in this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So the format of this, if you guys haven't watched it before, the format of it, each team gets one ban. And then it's uh, best of five maps. However, it's on each map, it's a best of three individually. So it's like three best of fives. So for the first set, it's Siege on uh, Nuts and Bolts, and we decided to go with Gene Barley and Bull, I think. And uh, we probably shouldn't have done that, because you guys just see here, like, they're just so tanky that the Barley can't really do anything. However, I do think we played pretty good, considering in, like, we weren't too concerned after this match. We were pretty confident in ourselves. So you'll see we're already down by, like, Seven bolts there's like 10 seconds left. Like, we obviously have no chance here. So, you're pretty, I think you'll just see me just sit in the back. Yeah, level 24, like, we really don't have much of a chance here. And, uh, yeah. I just pretty much wrap up this game. You see me just mucking around here in the corner. The big GG. And uh, yeah, let's just hop on to the next one. Alright, hopping in the second match here. You see it's the same map again as in the format earlier, but we decided to go with the same comp as them. Because we thought that was the best comp, considering that Spike and BB were banned, and those are two obviously the brawlers you play on this map. And Spike's really good at countering tanks, and since it was going to be a Spike, everyone was just playing tanks. So we just said, hey, why not, we'll just match them and we'll just outskill them. And I think we did a pretty good job of it here. You see we managed to get the first robot. The uh, admin didn't really get the first part of this match, but he missed like 10 seconds or something, I don't know. But it's no it's all no big deal. You just didn't see the first bullet, I don't think. And you see, I think I in this set, like pulling tanks or just like anything as Gene on this map is really easy, especially tanks, because it's just like all auto aim pulls. And auto aim Gene's just pretty OP. Especially when you use that new star power that you do like 1700 damage in attack, it's very OP. You can see Zarya gets pulled in, and I'm just lining up my pull here. You see Ash gets a pull, I pull him in, so we get the bolt and the kill. And I pull Toonie here. And it's going to look like I'm like hitting all these pulls, but to be honest with you, I just auto aimed every single one, and that's pretty much just one, what you want to do with Gene. Especially on like close range brawlers. You always want to pull when your teammates near you, because like, me and Keith, we were communicating in VC, like, I'm gonna pull, like, group up, so I pull, we just all spam auto aim, and then we'll pretty much always take him out. You see, like, Toonie, he pulled there, but he had no one near him, so he couldn't really take out the kill right away. And so it wasn't as impactful. And you can also pull people into the Ice range, as they did right there, and you can get the kill. And now at this point, we're up by, like, five bolts, there's only ten seconds left, so... We obviously gonna get this robot, and we'll take game two here. I think I played really well this game. Auto aim jeans, very OP. See, yeah, I did right there. Like I know Keith didn't attack, but I think he's just mucking around. At this point, we like already know that we won. And uh, yeah, we'll just hop on to the next one here. Once this one wraps up. Alright, so hopping into the third match of the set here. We both sided the same comp. We couldn't really think of anything that'd be any better. Like, we could have maybe used a Shelly, but I don't know. Shelly's kind of risky. It'd be good against this comp, but like any other comp, it wouldn't be very good. So, 
we just knew that we could, like, we played pretty good last game, so if we did the same thing this time, we knew we could win. You see how I pulled them into Keith right there? That's what you want to do. And you see Zara on the other end, he got pulled in and lived, because Toonie didn't have much of a, like, backup with him when he pulled. You see, Zara gets pulled in again, there's no backup, so he almost survived that one, too. You always want to pull when you have your teammates nearby, unless you're pulling something weak. But, like, with tanks, you always want to have someone nearby. You see him sitting in the bush here, trying to catch Toonie out. Because on, uh, when on, like, offense there, usually they just walk up, won't even know you're there. And you just get like, a free kill. And now we're just, like, collecting the bolts. So you have pretty good control. I still have my pull, so I think they're all pretty, pretty wary of it. Because I've hit, like, every single one so far this series. See, I pull Ash again. He does a good job taking out Z, and we got a level 8 seizure bot. On top of that, we're only down by like one bolt, so we can pretty much just defend this again. And with this comp, like it's hard to go get damage unless you go all in, and since there was another there's there was another like set of siege bolt spawns, so we didn't really want to go in yet. As you'll see, we just kinda chilled. You see I sat in the bush like I did there, I pulled Tinny now, so it's a 2v3 to shut off the siege, and we already had control, so it's pretty much impossible for them to do anything. Even if they charge in, like we have our supers, so there's not really anything they could do. Azar does a good job taking out Toonie. Now you see on my pull, Keith, we all three have our supers. We're up by a few bolts. I get a nice pull on Ash there. I pulled him into the Ike. And yeah, it's gonna wrap up the series. We managed to come back after being down a game. So it's pretty OP. I think we played pretty good for sure. You see, they just kind of go in without the seizure bot. Doing the old muck, you know. And uh, yeah, I'll hop into the next set here. Alright, so the second set was on Bravo. It was on a Super Stadium, and we said to go with Poco, Shelly, and Nita. And I honestly think this comp was good, but. We didn't really know what to run because Spike and BB were banned, so you just kind of pick something and just pick something that like couldn't really be countered that hard. And I love playing Shelly and Brawl I think Shelly's like the best goal scorer in Brawl Ball, really slept on for for like goal scoring ability, as you'll see pretty soon here. On top of that, Keith's a pretty good Brawl Ball Nita, and Zarlix playing Poco here, so felt pretty good. And they kind of also have been like a weird comp. They have like a G N A bit Barley. They just kind of want to like control and get the 8-bit turret down and just like lob barley shots over the walls which initially seemed like a good strat with uh with bb being banned but i think we just did a really good job about skilling them and you see it, it's like shelly versus barley on the other side it's kind of like a tough matchup for me i like, can't really do anything so i'm just trying to get my super and just trying to get close as possible and charge it up and also just kind of stall for my teammates not just like instantly lose my lane Toonie has a nice pull with Ash right there, so Zara is going to get taken out. And now, you just see me and Keith walking up here. And I am close to my super, yeah, you see I got my super. And once you get your super, Shelly, like, if you get up close to the net, you have the ball, like, it's pretty much just like a free goal. And now Zara gets a nice heal off there, and he gets a nice kill, so pretty good job by him there. And now you see I have my super, I'm just walking up, and at this point, like, I'm calling for the ball, I'm like, it's a free goal, and I just supered in, like, just like that. And as Shelly and Bravo, you always want to do that right there. Where you just shoot the ball towards the net, then super. You can also do it through walls. As I showed in one of my other videos, it was a Bravo scoring video. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check it out. I think it was, like, the best video I ever made on my channel so far. At this point, they were all kind of on the right side there, so I just kind of walked up and shot the ball in. I guess they were kind of sleeping on me there. But, uh, GG's only. Alright, top of the next match here. We see we started the same comp, but so did they. We felt pretty good after that first game, so you could just run it back, you know? And so it's Shelly vs. Barley again, and it's obviously a pretty tough matchup for me, but I still kind of win my lane with a little help from Zar. I got my super. I kind of super there. Maybe it was a little too aggressive, but at this point, like, it's pretty much just like a goal, and Zar does what he should. And we just put it in, so it's a nice little 27 goal right there. So we're feeling pretty good from here on out. Keith gets pulled, but since he has bear, it's not really that big of a deal. And I managed to go down, but my team's all up there pretty good. 
Heath got taken out too, and Zara almost scored here, but he got just taken out. He, if he would have made around that corner, he probably could have scored, but it wasn't really that big of a deal because we were pretty much dominating like this entire set. You see, I'm on the bar lead again. It's obviously a really tough matchup for this set before. I'm trying to charge up my super. And uh, yeah, Keith's doing a good job just holding control. He got his bear. The bear is pretty good against Gene. As long as 8 bit doesn't melt it, do a good job. Toonie misses the pull there. I super Z to the wall. I'm going to just take him out. I'm just trying to take out those walls on that side because that's what Barley was. It makes Barley good. Ash almost scored there. If he would have walked past Zar, he definitely would have, but since of his like slow speed, he didn't manage to do it. Zar goes for the gamble right there. He messes up. He didn't mess up. He just like. Did score. Probably should have been more patient, but it's not that big of a deal because we have control here. I got taken out there. There's nothing really to do with the bear and two of them alive, and that's gonna. We'll take the second set right there. Alright, so hopping into the third set here, it's on uh, Sandy Gems. You see us here with the Piper. We, they kind of have to counter our comp here. We thought they'd go with the Shelly because. I thought they, we thought they'd go with the Triple Tank because. Or no, we thought. They thought we would go triple tank, so we ended up needing to counter their Shelly since Spike was banned, but they didn't really do that. They decided to run, run a Piper double tank, which kind of caught us off guard a little, but they just kind of let me go to the safe, and as you see, I'm just like taking it out. They just kind of threw this game away, I thought they had a better comp. They just kind of let us win, so we managed to get the first game there. Alright, stop with this next, we go with Rico instead of Nita. However, you see Piper on my lane, I got kind of taken out, so I don't think it was really the right call. And Piper kind of counters Rico too, because when Zarg gets hit by Piper, he's pretty much dead. How low health he is, and they're breaking down the walls for Piper, so I think we're kind of in a pretty bad spot here. He's trying to do all he's can, but Toonies pretty much has him taken out. And I'm just trying to get the Primo, but Piper's just like peppering down her safe. And so we're not looking too good, we're already down by 30%. I just go for out the kill on Piper, but he, Piper jumps away, so good play by him. And now it's just three people on her safe. Keith went down, I guess he just thought that we couldn't defend, and yeah, we, we didn't really have that much of a chance here. And they just pretty much took out her safe. I probably could have body blocked that shot, but even if I did, like, we lost anyways. Alright, so this match is pretty funny. We saw them going Pipers, so let's just run like triple tank, go all on one lane. I had some big brain galaxy strats here. I knew this would work 100%, because they just sent Piper down a lane. You can just overwhelm them, go you know, to their safe, and now it's three tanks on the safe. Like, it's literally impossible to defend unless you have like a Shelly or something. So, yeah, you just, that's GG's only, you know, that's all I gotta say. Big galaxy brain strats. And, uh, yeah, we managed to take out the series there. I really hope you guys joined in this video. I'm also super pumped to keep playing in the World Cup. We qualified for the regional round, which is two weeks from this Sunday coming up. And I've been screaming a lot for it. And yeah, hopefully we just do win that trip to South Korea. And I'll see you next time.